at church celebrates the feast day of St. Florentius. The following are some details about his life and works. St. Florentius lived during the Apostolic Age of Christianity in the largely pagan but beautiful city of Thessaloniki, which had been so named for Thessaloniki, the devoted sister of Alexander the Great. Florentius was an Orthodox Christian of unquestionable faith, but his modus operandi in delivering the work of Christ was somewhat unorthodox, primarily because he railed at paganism, not only with boundless enthusiasm, but also with reckless abandon. His love for Christ was equalled by his unbridled loathing of paganism. At a time when society was predominantly pagan, Florentius's crusades naturally challenged the ruling political powers. Undaunted, he sneered at the gods of ancient Greece and publicly ridiculed those who would worship a graven image. His double-barreled attack was necessary, he reasoned, because he had to convince them both of the existence of one God and the appearance of the Son of God as their saviour. Florentius was equal to this task, but if he offended any sensibilities or trod on any toes, it mattered little, as long as he could hammer home the truth. Florentius would actually appear in the public square of Thessaloniki like an early-day demonstrator and parade the length and breadth of the city's civic centre, denouncing those who clung to the pagan gods. For this, he was branded a rabble-rouser by the pagans and a voice in the wilderness after John the Baptist by those who received the message. At this time, he was appointed Bishop of Thessaloniki by the small but durable band of Christians. While he may have shown the dignity of his office when necessary, he preferred to get into trenches where the real fighting was taking place. To those who looked upon his unrelenting assault upon the pagan gods as foolhardly, his oration on enemy ground seething with hatred was sheer madness, but to the quiet Christians it was an outburst representing a release of the intense spirit within him. St. Florentius knew precisely where he was and that each lash of his tongue would be repaid with a cruel lash of another kind. To him it was worth dying if his words were to reach but one heart. In addition to that, his defiance of pagan authority gave heart to those who also serve who only stand and wait, in the words of Milton. Those who stood and waited watched their numbers grow until such time as the impatience of St. Florentius began to fill churches with more patient Christians. Not content to preach the word of Christ in the cathedral where only Christians would hear him, Florentius courageously expounded the truths of the Christian faith in the courtyard of the pagan ruler. While delivering his oration, he was in effect delivering his own eulogy. The astounded court followers 